Uh, next question comes from Burma Jones on YouTube. What are the food safety risks of NA beer? Well, man, I'm 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 glad you asked. Where'd my uh oh did I oh I didn't close it out. <laughs> I was almost gonna panic. Uh let's take a look at some of the uh some of the some of the risks with making NA beer. And again, this is just gonna be a this is just gonna be like a, a brief overview. It is part of this. It is part of this guide to making non-alcoholic beers through fermentation from Escarpment Labs. You need to go and check that out because it's a it's a fun, concise little read. And we're just dipping into it a little bit today. So let's uh let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right. Food safety risks of non-alcoholic beer. To ensure food safety of non-alcoholic beers, you need to do at least one of the fun following. One, flash pasteurize. Two, tunnel pasteurize. Three, sterile filtration. Four, acidify to below pH of 3.5. And that might be an eyebrow raiser for you because we know, you might know that that's lower than typical. Okay? Even so, there are risks associated with the production of non-alcoholic beers. When it comes to producing a safe food product, there are several factors you can control to keep fermented foods safe for consumption. They are pH slash acidity. Products with a pH below 4.2 have a lower risk of harboring foodborne pathogens. Alcohol. Alcohol makes the product stable as many pathogenic organisms cannot survive in the presence of alcohol. Preservatives. Use various chemical means to restrict the growth of microbes. This includes options such as potassium sorbate, most active below a pH of 4.5, and sodium benzoate, most active between 2.5 and 4. Additional options include solutions based on, I'm going to say, chitosan, chitosan, a yeast inhibitor, or dimethyl dicarbonate. DMDC, a yeast inhibitor. Salinity. Salinity is another option. Many pathogens cannot survive in brine solutions, which allow preserving bacteria such as lactobacillus to, fries, to thrive and create acid. While great for pickles, this isn't a relative, uh, this isn't relative for non-alcoholic beer. Okay. Um, so I see more and more questions online. In, in, in the in the times where in, in my in my darkest moments, when I found nothing left to do on the internet, and I go into Reddit slash the brewery, and I peruse uh, some of the angry slash uh, honest questions slash angst of of that subculture. You see, you stuff. You see people talking about NA beers uh, more and more often. Um, this is this is a big topic. There's multiple lenses at, uh, with which to to, to look at this, um, and uh, there's there's a lot of ways to handle it. Um, I've seen some people that just kind of want to haphazardly uh, just start doing their thing, um, and especially I, I think you're 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 asking for trouble. So this is why you're seeing the Brews Association, uh, Escarpment, and some different resources like this start to pop up. Um, but check out this, uh, check this thing out, and uh, I don't know. Um, we'll uh, we'll see what we can get into, and 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 I'm looking forward to maybe getting Richard Price uh, on here from Escarpment and uh, and chatting with him. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here, or over here. Appreciate you watching.